Learn how you can sign and sideload multiple Scarlet app by switching Apple ID, and use multiple Apple ID to sign the Scarlet apps, so that we can sideload more than 3 apps to our iOS device, as Apple allows total 3 apps per Apple ID. Let me show you that I have already sideloaded Scarlet using my computer, and the Apple ID I use to sideload is this, which you can see from the video. Now in order to change the Apple ID and sideload multiple Scarlet, let's head over to the computer. On the computer, just launch the file manager and navigate to the folder, where you have the scarletcloud.exe file downloaded, most of the time, it's the downloads folder. So when you first run that exe file, it creates these file and folder, as you can see from the video, so in order to log in with a new Apple ID, just permanently delete this config folder, as shown on the video. Deleting this folder will basically wipe data of the Scarlet login information. Next right click on the .exe file, and run it as an administrator. Make sure to connect your iOS device to computer using a cable. Select the connected device once detected by the computer, as shown on the video. And finally click on Install Scarlet. As you can see, it's asking for Apple ID and password, now input another Apple ID this time, different from the initial one, and finally click on Submit. The sideloading process will start shortly, the black window will show the status of the same. Let me show you my iPad screen, as you can see, the Scarlet is starting to sideload. As you can see, I have two Scarlet app installed using two different Apple IDs. And each Apple ID can be used to sideload three apps, using this trick you can sideload as many apps as you want. On the VPN and device management section, as you can see, I have two different Apple IDs, which are used to sideload the apps. If you want an in-depth video on Scarlet topic, click on the I button. Both the Scarlet app is running fine but make sure you refresh the Scarlet, and sideloaded apps within every 7 days due to the restriction of Apple for free developer account, you can refer my next video.